Treasurer Josh Frydenberg is trying to reassure crossbench senators that the government's planned tax cuts won't put funding for hospitals and schools at risk. The Financial Review reports the government is closing in on a deal with crossbenchers to pass its full package within weeks and sidelined Labor. 35 senators and the support of Cory Bernardi, the coalition only need another three votes to pass the full plan. But it appears One Nation won't be on board. Here's what Pauline Hanson said this morning. Pauline, will you support the government's tax cuts in full? At this stage, no, I'm not. That, we're talking about over $158 billion over the next few years. Um, you know, I think there's more important issues out there that... Uh, that are of a concern to the Australian people. I want to see a coal-fired power station built in Australia to get reduced electricity prices. And uh, I want to see the Bradfield scheme to ensure water security in Australia.